I'm Roger with Synthesizers.com, and here's how to combine gates on a Q960 sequencer in different ways. The typical way to get a gate from a Q960 is to use the oscillator output from the Q960's internal clock. That'll provide our gate for our envelope generators. In this example, we'll use the first row to create a melody. In this case, we got a gate for every single step. But let's say we want a gate for just a few steps. We can use the Q961 interface to merge gates together and delay gates. This becomes our new output. In this example, we'll patch the first step and the second. We can delay one of these gates by going into the second column. Notice this one is shorter than this one. Let's add another one. Another way to merge gates from the Q960 sequencer is to use the Q963 trigger bus module. This module has a cable that goes from the back over to the Q960 sequencer to grab all of the gate output signals. These gate outputs are routed to each of the eight switches, and these switches can route the gate to one of two outputs, A or B. This will become our gate output and we'll set these switches to the middle position, which is off. And we'll start our sequence, and we get no gates, and we can add them. Here's number one. Here's number four, and number six, and number eight. We could route some of these gates to the B output and go to different envelope generators to do different things.